good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe. If you are new here, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Today I'm going to vlog my life and I need to get up and get ready. Even though I don't have class today, I am going to go visit one of my teachers and then just get like prepared for next week with my, all my tests. So yeah, I'm going to get dressed right now and head out. I hope it's not too cold outside, but we will see. All right, I am ready for the day. I wear this sweatshirt all the time. It is so comfortable, but this is my sweatshirt from Brandy. I think it's adorable. And then I have one of the heat protecting long sleeve shirts that I like to wear underneath it. My Lululemon leggings with the pockets and then some Uggy boots because Ugg boots are the best. And of course, my handy dandy Lululemon jacket. I am very tired, and last night was an interesting one. I came back early. I just didn't feel like being out, and honestly, I like being a grandma and going to bed and not really going out. I don't know why, but we are here going to class, being productive today, and yeah, so I'm going to walk to class. I will see you in a bit. <laughs> back from class and then I also went to lunch with my friend Lily and got some food because I was very hungry and now I am going to start on some homework I also need to go to the post office and I'm going tonight to like the Sadie Robertson talk and I'm really excited to go it's like part of her college tour series and she's coming to TCU so that's very exciting and I'm excited to go with some people in my sorority we have like a bible study group so we are all going and i'm just excited to have a nice time with people and yeah i don't know i'm <coughs> i'm still not feeling 100 percent, but that is okay i just have a lot to get done so i'm gonna drink some water take a second drink an emergency definitely do that and then do some homework I am going to eat a cookie because I want to and I still have some left over. So I just warmed it up a little bit in the microwave. And now I'm going to eat it. It's so good. I really like it. I am so excited to go to the Sadie Robertson talk tonight and hear what she has to say. I love her. I've always loved her. She's beautiful. Just a stunning person. But I really just feel the need to go. I, in the past couple of weeks, have been feeling that I need to start going back to church and just really filling my life with God and things that are very important to me. And even though I am in college and I'm a busy person, that is part of my life that I want to make time for and not make excuses on why I can't go to certain things. My sorority does have a like Bible study thing that we can go to and I want to start going to that and just really filling my life with important things and being with people who believe in the same values as me and morals and I'm hoping that by getting into all of that that I'll be able to find some really good friends. I know that having friends for me has been kind of a hard thing to find but I'm really just trying and wanting to put myself out there and just find where I'm supposed to be in life and I believe that through praying and just being in the moment and asking God for help and advice that could really help me and I'm just happy that I'm finally doing this for myself and yeah I'm excited I just wanted to kind of say a little bit about it and why I'm doing it I just need need some sort of peace in my life I feel that right now I don't have peace and I just want to feel at peace and just okay if that makes sense I don't know if that makes any sense but just that I am loved by God and I know that I am but I just want to feel that overwhelming love and happiness that I used to feel and I don't really feel it anymore and it just makes me sad I do pray every single night I always pray whenever I feel the need to pray because I think that it's important I've always had some sort of faith aspect in my life growing up and especially 
now I think this is the most important time in life to have faith and for me personally because it just it I think it'll just help me um throughout my time here I think it'll help me with my anxiety and all that type of stuff I am going to bullet journal right now I have to just do a lot of stuff this upcoming week and want to journal it out maybe write some thoughts down I think I'm gonna draw a little bit and then get into the shower so I can get ready for tonight and be all ready to go to the talk <laughs> need to take a water break now that I have written in my bullet journal I also I will show you I added something into my bullet journal one moment I added a prayer section and yeah you can't see what I wrote but I wrote I did three pages but I already writ wrote I already read no I already wrote on the first one and I just think that that'll really help me I want to do that for every single month have a couple pages dedicated to prayer so I can keep up with that now it's time for the shower Woo! clean 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 alrighty I am ready to go I am wearing this sweater from American Eagle I think this IMG jacket and then I have my Goriana necklace and my Goriana bracelets, my room key, the Lulu's bracelet that I wear, a slip hair tie, my Apple watch and then I'm wearing the earrings that I wear every single day and I'm wearing my, oh, and I'm wearing my Madewell jeans and my Air Force Ones. And then I'm going to bring this pop-in notebook that I have with me and a pen just so I can take notes. And I feel like it'll be beneficial for me to take notes. I like taking notes. And yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to be leaving right now because I need to go. And I had a quick snack before I'm leaving right now. But I had a quick snack. This is my makeup the finish makeup product i just want to do something light and snazzy but with a little bit of sparkle because we love sparkles yeah so i'm gonna go now i'm very very excited and i can't wait to hear her talk I'm back from the Sadie Robertson talk and it was like life changing. I'm literally gonna start crying. I don't wanna cry. Um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying. This is like, no, I'm not gonna cry. But it just really is what I needed in my life and I've felt very lost recently and um, it just really like her words and everything that I felt really meant a lot to me and this past year has been really hard and I just feel like this huge weight was lifted off my shoulders and I don't know why I'm crying but it was just absolutely life-changing in so many ways and I feel like I can really make a difference with my life now and I just feel like I have a purpose and it just was so incredible I can't even like begin to explain it but if you have the opportunity to see her talk I highly suggest that you go and you do it and you listen to her because she is just like an amazing she is such an amazing speaker and her words and the way that she explained stuff was just it, it just really put a a perspective into my head that I never thought of and it just was awesome and I'm not gonna cry but I feel just where I need to be right now in life and that God really spoke to me in his own way and it was just really special and I had a really special moment with some girls that are in my sorority and it was just something that I'll never forget and while I was there I also got her shirt and it's so cute um 
and yeah i got this shirt and then i also got her book and i cannot wait to read this it looks like an incredible book and i'm so glad that i had the opportunity to buy it i don't even think you can like buy it currently and i think it's for pre-order i'm not sure not really sure but i'm sure that it's gonna be awesome and if you have the chance to get this book i would suggest it it just seems just so what i need right now in my life and on the back it has like a little bit of a synopsis about what it's about but it just says like how to replace temporary highs with the promises of god how to dream big and follow your passion how to celebrate every moment of your life how to live in the moment and how to keep going until your story gets good and i just i really really needed this more than anything in the world and I hope that if you are watching this and you get the chance that you can see her or watch her talks online because she is just incredible and her husband and how and his story was just it was just an awesome thing to hear and to witness and it made me just feel like there is so much hope for me and my future and that I am gonna do great things and that I I'm just finally where I needed to be in life and yeah I'm excited for this chapter I just feel so much lighter and just I feel calm and peace and it's just what I needed so I am very incredibly blessed that I had this opportunity to go and see her talk and just feel finally just at a really good place so I am going to call my parents right now and then I think I'm going to draw a little bit or I might read this might watch some youtube videos we will see but i just want to come on here and tell you how my experience was and i just feel so changed and just so incredibly happy and grateful i feel so grateful there's no words that could ever explain the amount of gratefulness that I feel right now and I hope that wherever you are and if you are looking for something more that you find that in your life and that you can find all the happiness in the world and I mean that from the bottom of my heart because it's something really special that you could have and yeah I cried so much you can see my makeup that ran I cried so much at this thing like tears were pouring down my face and I just felt incredible it, it was an incredible experience and I don't know how to explain it but yeah I just want to come on here and tell you honesty is the best policy all right it's time to relax for the night I'm going to start getting ready for bed I'm tired I need sleep i didn't go to bed last night till late i just could not sleep and i'm exhausted so bedtime is happening early tonight i'm going to set you down night routine starts now first things first i'm going to use this oil-free makeup remover from neutrogena and take off my eye makeup because that is important don't want to sleep with eye makeup on. Now I'm going to take the Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil and put that on my face. I do one pump. Sometimes I need two. We're going to start off with one. And I rub it into the skin. I've had this stuff since like October. It lasts so long. Now I look crazy, but I'm just going to go back over with my Neutrogena makeup remover and take off all the blackness because you don't want to look like Alice Cooper. I'm going to take the Kale Green Tea and Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Youth to the People. I love this stuff. It is amazing. Oh, it's coming out fast. All right, so rub it in between my fingers. Get it a little wet. On top of that, I'm also gonna use this probiotic skincare and energizing facial scrub, vitamin B and acai berry from Pierre F. 
My mom has a manicuring license, so she gets this at a special store. I can see if I can find it online. I'm not really sure, so she does buy it for me, but I absolutely love this face scrub. I've been using it for four or five years now, and it's just awesome. I'm going to put that in between my fingies, and then really scrub. There's a still a tiny bit left of makeup on right underneath my eyes from my mascara, which I'm surprised because I cried my eyeballs out tonight, so... I'm surprised that there's still any on there. Then I, I don't really like to leave that on my skin on my eyes. It's probably not the best for your skin. So I just put some water mm -hmm. and pat dry. On tonight's agenda next, I'm going to brush my teeth because fresh breath is important. I usually use a, not mechanical, yeah, a, a toothbrush that's electric. Ah. And then electric toothbrush, but since I was sick with the flu, I use that toothbrush and I don't have another like I, like toothbrush head because I get sent the toothbrush heads and so I need to have my mom send me one. So I've just been using like a normal toothbrush. Now I'm going to be putting the, I, I really don't know how to say this, Adaption Deep Moisture Cream by Youth to the People. It looks like this. I use it all the time. I love it. This is from their... Christmas collection so I had a bunch of like tiny little samples of things and I ended up loving this I'm gonna get a full size most likely of it very soon because I'm running out of product now I'm gonna rub it into the neck in the face my skin feels so smooth from scrubbing it that stuff works magic especially because it's so dry because of the cold my skin is freaking out now I'm going to use this bubblegum lip scrub from Lush because I feel like my lips need some scrubbing mm. I'm going to use the Laneige Laneige sleeping lip mask I love this stuff it has helped my lips tremendously. Wow. Amazing. Now that I have done that, I'm going to take off all of my jewelry, put on my pajamas, and I'm going to read some of Sadie's book. I will show you like what chapters I read and stuff and tell you what I think about it so far after I change. Okay, I am going to start reading this. I really want to. I think that it's going to be a great book. I'm starting on the forward part. And I think this is by her mom? Maybe. It's not, this part is not by her. Um, but I am excited to read it. So I'm going to start reading it and then annotate it. I'll probably just read one chapter and read like a chapter a day. <laughs> This book is so good and it's, it's incredible. I love everything. I want to finish this and then after reading this, get her other two books and read them. Her, just how she speaks, just really speaks to me in so many ways. And I think that because I went to this, it's just honestly, it's changed my life and I'm very happy. So I want to share this with you because I want to be vulnerable and show you this side of me in college and what this is going to bring to my life and how it's going to change it in many different aspects. And I really want to be honest with you and what's going on and how just my life is going to be changed. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Also like and comment down below any other videos that you would like to see me do and I'm serious if you have a chance to go and see her talk on her college tour please go. It will change your life in so many ways and it changed mine so I know that it can change yours. I hope that wherever you are, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, that you have or had an amazing day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!